Good morning from Disney Lookout Key at Lighthouse Point this morning. The Disney Magic pulled up for the very first time of any of the Disney cruise ships to Disney Lookout Key at Lighthouse Point and we are getting ready to go on the island right now. It's a little bit of a different experience because this island has never been worked by Disney before as far as the cast members have never been here so right now they are going out and moving all the food and things out there and getting ready. Um, this morning I woke up a little bit earlier to see us pull up and dock, which was fun to see the cast members who were waiting on the island and also to see the ship pull up and then to hear the horn go. And I grabbed a little breakfast this morning. Starting out the morning with Mickey waffles, a chocolate chip pancake, some eggs benedict, with hollandaise sauce, bacon, some strawberries for the waffles, uh, hash brown and a Denver omelet with some scrambled eggs. And now we are up here and Ginger just grabbed some breakfast. I got cinnamon French toast, some pineapple, some sausage, bacon. I had like an eggs benedict topping. I didn't eat the thing. And then an omelet. It's all very good. Um, and as you know, as we always have to say, as Diz Life of Ours once said, the hash browns are always fire. They're amazing, so definitely check those out. Even though they look plain, they're delicious. But yeah, all very good. Yeah, they will give us the word in a little while when we're clear to go on the island. So right now we are just kind of getting ready for them. We have just disembarked and we are now headed to Disney Lookout Key at Lighthouse Point. Walking past the beautiful Disney magic, but yeah, it, yeah, our room is right up there above where we're exiting out. We are headed out. There's plenty of vloggers out there that's super enthused, i.e. Jackie back there. So yeah, we are now headed on the rather long walk to Disney Lookout Key at Lighthouse Point. We're still walking. <laughs> yes. <laughs> In all truth, it's not horrible as far as like, it's a pretty view. Like, it's not the same as Castaway Key, but very pretty view. Think of the walk, Ginger. It was nice and flat, so it was, and it was very pretty. But I am sweaty. I just drip sweat. Down my face. Yeah, so it is. As you can see, we're glistening. But yeah, it was a little walk, but not horrible. Someone timed it. Said ten minutes. Yeah, so a little ten-minute walk, and yeah, we are headed into kind of the checkpoint where they will make sure this is where you will check in and out as far as entering the island. So here we go. Now we'll take the tram over to the heart of Lookout Key. Yes, do you like? Yes, I'm wearing Mickey style. Looking good. Yes. Yes. Looking good. Yes, yes.
Because it's the very first day, the stores are crazy busy, but they seem to be keeping all of the merchandise in stock. Now it's time for lunch at one of the three barbecue locations, and we'll be eating at True True 2 Barbecue.
One thing that we think is extra smart is that they have numbered each of these pavilions so you can let your family know which one you are seated at instead of just saying, uh, one of the pavilions. All right, don't mind me, I'm extra sweaty, but we just got lunch and they have lots of different options. Some are similar to Castaway Key, but it all looks delicious. They also have some Bahamian specific ones that I grabbed, but we'll have Ginger tell us what she got first. Um, I got the rotisserie chicken barbecue rib and then just some fries, fruit, some veggies, and then for dessert, I got a cookie and some ice cream to put on my cookie. Nice. And I got a hot dog, some ribs, some baked mac and cheese, some Texas potato salad, some fries, cookie, and then this was um, plantains, fried okra, and this was the seafood option as far as kind of the more Bahama specific. All right, so we're just finishing up lunch here, and Ginger, what was the best thing you had? Uh, the ribs. I like the barbecue ribs the best. Yeah, the ribs were extra delicious. I love that. I did like that they have fried okra, and yeah, it was all good overall. I didn't, there wasn't anything I did like, so very good. And the cookies on the island are always better, the larger size, so I like that. Very fun. It's, it's time for some real talk on here. I'm not sure if you'll be able to hear us over the waves, and I know I look gross, and Ginger probably looks glistening also, <laughs> but real talk, everything so far I was like, you know what, this is nice, this is like Casawiki, this is very nice, this is fun, I liked all the performances, the Junkanoo thing was awesome, yeah. everything we were seeing. Game changer walking out onto this beach. <laughs> yeah, but we hadn't been to the beach till now. <laughs> we hadn't been to the beach, and this, takes it up such a notch like I think the way the island is situated the waves are a lot calmer over here the water is very shallow and beautiful over here and oh my gosh it's just ridiculously beautiful so what thoughts I would just say if you're coming maybe grab like a bring a beach blanket or something because there's a lot of open sand that you could put a like a blanket on because the seating is kind of farther back from the beach, but it's just so much more open. There's so much more places to swim than Castaway Key. I yeah, think that's amazing. No, it feels huge out here. And, and the water is really nice. I dipped my feet in, so. It's beautiful. Before we get totally relaxed on the beach, we need to do a little bit more exploring first. Mango float, pineapple pleaser, and that is graham cracker crust and marshmallow on top, and there's mango pearls or something in here. I'm trying mine. That's good. <laughs> it's like a Dole Whip, you know, like one of those Dole Whip things. That... You're at Lookout Key because they are being very good about um, protecting the environment. All of the cups are either plastic cups that will be washed or in this case metal cups that will be washed. And so it's no paper cups that will be thrown away. So, and the napkins that you use for the most part are all like the cloth napkins, so they'll wash those too. So very little waste here. <laughs>
Because it's the first day on the island, they don't officially have any character meet and greets on the schedule, but a few of the characters have been making appearances. <laughs> so yes, this is the man who designed Mickey, Minnie, Chip and Dale, all the costumes. Yes. And he did an excellent job, and I tried Thank to copy you. it on Photoshop and try and make something to look like. Listen to me, Eric. You did a great oh job. God. You did an absolutely great job. Thank my you. favorite part of the cum shell. Look at those cum shells. Yes, right there. Great job, man. Thank you so much. Pleasure to meet you. Yeah, so nice to meet you. Good to see you Thank again. You. I wanted to be your outfit, but I was like, there's, you know, there's two of them, so I can decide which one to be best. Well, I like the sideways lab, but I like, you know, I like, yes. Can we get a picture with you guys? All right. All right, everyone. Very sweet. <gasps> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. <laughs> that's adorable. I'll hold on to it. I'll keep it nice and safe, okay? Oh my gosh, thank you. Disney Lookout Key at Lighthouse Point is absolutely amazing. I've loved my day, but I think this is my absolute favorite thing about it, the beach. You need to see this. The beach is absolutely breathtaking, and I think I like it better than Castaway Keys Beach. It is so expansive. One of the things that I heard people initially complaining about when they saw the map online is they're like, Serenity Bay and the Family Beach are so close. There is nothing close about these. This beach is huge and expansive and so open that even the family beach seems pretty serene and quiet just because everyone is so spread out. So this is absolutely beautiful and absolutely amazing. Hashtag perfection. This water feels so good. I'm sure it's a little noisy and you can't hear me, but it's feeling so perfect right now, especially after a hot day. So yeah. This can't be beat. Yes, I'm wearing my hat, and no, I'm not used to it either. But like every other guy and gal was wearing this hat, so I had to be part of the crowd. Um, so overall thoughts, Ginger? Um, it is beautiful. It's really fun. It's a lot like the cultural, uh, cultural Polynesian Cultural Center. I thought it was, it was amazing. The food was great. Entertainment was fun. Good for the family. Lots of good stuff. So. At the end of a long day, this is a long walk back, but we are making it. And I'm not used to walking in flip-flops or wearing a hat, so there's a lot of things that I'm not used to right now, but we're being strong. But it was a lot of fun, and so yeah, headed back on the ship. Time for dinner at Animator's Palo.
it's me, your old pirate pal, Mickey Mouse. Our Pirates in the Caribbean party is about to start, and I just wanted to tell you that no matter what happens tonight, I'm on your side. Dizzy magic! your little party. It is high time you learned how a bloodthirsty crew really celebrates. Right, just ones? Right, was so wonderful at Lookout Key. Absolutely beautiful. Really loved it. I, of course, love Castaway Key. There's so many wonderful things about that, but there's some unique things about this. So maybe I'll start with one or two negative things um, that walk out. You do need to prepare yourself for that walk out and back. It's not a showstopper by any means, but it is, a, is about a 10 minute walk out there and then about a 10 to 12 minute tram ride to get to the island area. But once you are there, it is absolutely beautiful. The water is amazing, like, yeah, even more beautiful than the Castaway Keys water. It was absolutely beautiful. And the beach, and the it's just huge and expansive. So very, very large over there. We didn't even get to the nature trails that we wanted to see because they were not doing the bike excursion today that we had originally planned. So we stayed mainly in the building areas. We saw each of the buildings, but it was a lot of walking and a lot of stuff there. And also, we put on lots of sunscreen today, and thankfully... I'm a little red, but not burned at all, so that's very good. So, the food was all excellent. There were lots of flies going around, so that was another negative thing. There were flies, so... But... The walkout was a little bit, the flies, but otherwise, absolutely beautiful. Oh, yes. Uh, Ginger just called out. They don't have maybe all the wayfinding and signage up yet, and so as people were walking around, they didn't necessarily know exactly where they were or maybe some of the signage wasn't large enough so I remember the first time I went on the wish they didn't have the wayfinding signs up yet and so maybe they are getting more of those or maybe that will be one thing they improve on the bathrooms are unlike Castaway Keys where you're kind of it kind of feels outdoors-ish and it's cement floors these are like you're in theme park bathrooms but one thing that Ginger and another lady noticed is they didn't have any hooks yet in the bathroom stalls so that was one thing where they were like, oh, they don't have hooks up yet. But the bathrooms, they were like classy ones. And there were lots of bathrooms, like lots of bathrooms. So anyway, it was very good. But Ginger, any highlights from Lookout Key for you? Um, For Lookout Key, yeah, I just loved, I swam a lot. I swam for like 45 minutes in the water and that was just nice, especially it was so hot and humid that just getting in the water was just, and it's the perfect temperature, so, and it's just beautiful. So it was clear, crystal clear, really pretty. So that was definitely the highlight. And then the other highlights that you mentioned, like the, um, the food was really good and just um, all the things, I think they're just gonna keep refining them, but all the, the shows that they had with the characters and stuff, seeing the characters and the uh, junk anew was, it was really cool. So it's neat to have them see them immerse the cultures. So yeah, um, we were talking to one cast member and he was saying how it's kind of bringing as if it's a day at Castaway Key, but also kind of with the Nassau kind of culture and stuff kind of pulled the best of both pulled together. And I think that could be an accurate way of looking at it. 
Um, so lots of fun. And those junk new performers, they were putting their heart and soul they, into it. They, they were, were like, they that were was, all, their best yeah, lives. no, it was awesome. Like the, and then what was also fun is they were all different ages because it's an authentic junk new group from the island of Eleuthera. And so, you know, there were younger people in there. There were older people, all different ages. It was fun, and they were playing the music. It was awesome. So very, very fun day. So highly recommend it if you can look for a cruise that has a stop at Lookout Key. I would highly recommend that. So, and of course, um, Dinner Animator's palette was delicious. We skipped the show for tonight. Um, it's probably one of our least favorite shows that they put on. But the performers always do a great job on the different shows. But we skipped it for tonight because um, yeah, plenty of stuff going on. So... Anyway, we got plenty of stuff going on tomorrow, too, so we need to head to bed. So thank you so much for watching. We have some fun in NASA tomorrow, so definitely make sure you follow along so you can watch that. But hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, please give a like and consider subscribing to the channel because my hope is always to make your next Disney adventure a little bit more magical with tips and tricks, food reviews, and news. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you all again real soon. Bye! Bye.